Hey, I made this video a few months back and there were a lot of people in the comments saying, but how do you animate it? Is it possible? Can I make it move? Well, I can help you with that, but other than that, yeah, there's few ways to do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you the simplest and the lightest way to make the hair actually bounce and move with your character. First, bring your rigged and animated character. It doesn't matter what kind of rig it is. I use Mixamo to rig this character, but you can check out the video on how to do it. Link in the top right corner. Shift A and add lattice. Scale it up and make it the size of the whole hair. Now select the hair. Go to weight paint mode, then in the object data properties, add a vertex group and name it whatever you want. Select the gradient tool. Then smoothly color the parts where you want more movements. Remember, parts where colors are warmer, it's gonna get more affected by the physics and movement. So don't add the intense red color randomly. Make sure you keep the transition as smooth as possible for better results. Go to modifier properties and add lattice. Select the lattice as the object. And in the vertex Vertex group at the one that we made earlier. Now select the lattice itself in the object data properties at a vertex group. Go to edit mode and select the vertices on top. Then click on assign. Go to physics properties and add soft body. Now if you play the animation you see it falls down and we don't want that. Scroll down and in the goal section add the vertex group that we made earlier to keep the lattice from falling. While selecting the lattice select your armature at the end and parent it to the bone so the lattice follow the character's movement. Do the exact same thing to the hair if it's dislocated or doesn't follow the rig. Select your model. Add collision to prevent the hair from going through the mesh. Maybe increase the thickness for better results. Select the lattice. In the physics properties, change the setting as your desire. I use these settings, but if you want more or less bounce and movement on the hair, try changing these settings till you get the results that you're happy with. Now, say you want different parts of the hair have different settings. In the object data properties, add another vertex group. Now, in the weight paint mode, color the parts where you want to apply the new settings. Then, back in the object mode, select the lattice and duplicate it. Place it on that part of the hair. Now, select the hair again, and in the modifier properties, add another lattice modifier. This time, select the new lattice as the object, and the new vertex group that we made as the vertex group, obviously. Now, you can change the settings, and it only affects this part of the hair. Oh, f Okay, maybe don't overdo it. But yeah, that was it. Of course, there's more professional way to animate hair. In fact, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. But this one is pretty easy and light, and it comes out good in a lot of cases. Be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next week.